Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace in Kununur, Western Australia, right beside the Lily Creek Lagoon, and that's a perfect location while the sun is getting low on the horizon for me to show you some basic intelligent flight modes for the DJI Mavic. This also works with the DJI uh, Air, and any DJI drone actually has these intelligent flight mo uh, modes. Now there's a bunch of intelligent flight modes that you should learn, but really there's one that's a total game changer that you should absolutely know. So we're gonna get to that, but I'm gonna show you two other ones first. They're very, very basic. The first one is cinematic mode. Now what cinematic mode does is it basically slows down the Mavic when it's stopping. So normally when the Mavic stops, it goes and what that'll do is it'll make the gimbal sort of jerk around and it doesn't give you nice smooth motion. Also, when you yaw, which is this movement right here, so when you're yawing your drone, that can be sort of quick and give you herky-jerky video. In cinematic mode, what that does is it slows down that yaw and it slows down your uh, deceleration. So instead of going and stopping, you'll sort of coast into a nice slow stop. Same with acceleration, instead of taking off, it'll sort of zip out. So cinematic mode just gives you nice smooth motion. So let's take a look. Okay, once again, we have our drone, our Mavic Pro in the air. I'm gonna fly it out. I have it out over the, the lagoon. Now what I'm gonna do here is, first I'm going to uh, fly toward this little bush right down here. And I'm gonna fly and then stop. So fly, stop. And so you can see that sort of just stops really quickly there. Fly backwards, stop. It stops. Okay, if I tear to the left, I'm gonna full yaw left. Whoa, I'm gonna get sick. It's pretty darn fast. All right, so now let's see what happens when we click the little robot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on cinematic mode. So cinematic mode is right here. I'll say OK. Now the first thing, yaw should change. So I'm going to jerk the joystick to the left, full on, much, much slower, much smoother. So that's full 100%. So normally you wouldn't do that, but that's a much smoother movement. And then now let's watch and see how this glides to a stop. So full on, notice it's a nice smooth start. And now I've stopped. It's still gliding, 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 comes to a nice smooth stop. So you can see I did some side-by-side -side comparisons and you're in normal mode, you can see that the Mavic comes to a screeching halt and that can wiggle the gimbal just a little bit. When you're in cinematic mode, it glides to a stop. Cinematic mode is pretty nice, but there's one mode that's even better in my opinion, and that is called tripod mode. Now what tripod mode does is it slows down all of the motion of your drone. So when you're flying, you're yawing, you're accelerating and decelerating and doing all the movements, it just makes everything go much slower and much smoother. So if you're looking for that really amazing shot and you're moving your drone, put it in tripod mode and that will work. So don't think about tripod mode as the drone just sort of sitting there on a tripod, but think of it as a stable platform so you're moving in a stable way so let's take a look at tripod mode all right well let's get our Mavic out over the lagoon once again sort of zipping right over there so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to get it up in the air just a little bit and then what we'll do is we will put this in to tripod mode so again I'm gonna push the little face of the robot over there and then we have tripod mode I'll click on that I'll say okay now this is going to make my movements substantially smoother and it'll take the controls uh, to make them not as herky-jerky. So here we go. I'm going to push forward. I am. This is full forward on the right joystick. And you can see that it's just crawling along. Crawling along. Which is awesome. If I go to the right for a tracking move, you can see again it's crawling along and this is perfect for those tracking shots for you want to want that cinematic look without having a really really fast move so my joystick is all the way to the right it's full on to the right so normally we would be smoking right now and then if I need to make a move to get my uh, drone to a place I want it to be I can turn off cinematic mode okay now I can fly up zoom now we're back to normal Notice that when I'm moving my uh, joysticks around, everything's moving very, very quickly, as we would expect. 
notice how I move my yaw left and right. Things are really changing dramatically. But let's go back into cinematic mode. I'm sorry, in tripod mode. So I'll say OK. Now watch this. I'm going to yaw to the left full on, much slower, similar to what we had in cinematic mode. But I'm going to now uh, push my right joystick to the left. So I'm doing a tracking move. It's very, very slow. I'm going to go down. Notice that I'm coming down very, very slowly. And this is just awesome. And so tripod mode gives you the ability to have these really refined, very, very precise camera movements. Now there is one intelligent flight mode that I think is a game changer that every single drone pilot should know about. It's called point of interest. What that allows you to do is to fly your drone directly over the top of something that you think is interesting. You'll tell your drone, hey, this is my point of interest. Then you back the drone up and then it will automatically start circling that thing and you can tell it how far away, how high, and what speed and what direction to circle that point of interest and you get these just perfectly smooth videos because everything's working on autopilot. So let me show you how easy this is and what kind of dramatic effects you can get. All right, well the Mavic is in the air. Let me zip it out over the lagoon here just a little ways. Now if I go up into the air here what we can see is that there are some boats off in the distance. And that's going to be my point of interest. So the first thing I want to do is fly out to this boat. So I'm just going to zip on out to this boat that's out here in the, uh, the lagoon. That'll take me just a couple seconds. Once I get there, what I want to do is I want to fly directly over the top of that boat. So I'm going to keep panning my... Uh, my camera down until I get there. Now you notice I'm flying at about 50 meters, it's about 150 feet and so that means that he's not going to be able to hear me so I don't want to annoy these guys. So I'm almost there. I want to get right on top of this boat. So my gimbal needs to be facing straight down. So I'm almost there. Gimbal straight down and there he is. Okay, so now that I'm directly overhead of the thing that's my point of interest, I'll position my my drone so he's just right above. Okay, now I'm going to push this little robot on the left-hand side here. I'm going to agree to the safety uh, message there. And then what I'm going to do is go over here to point of interest. This is going to give me a little tutorial if I want it. I'm going to hit OK. So this is my point of interest. So on the lower right hand side, I'll say record point of interest. Now it's asking me for my radius. So now I'm going to back up. So I'm using my right joystick and I'm backing up. I want to back up to, oh, about probably 50 meters or so. That looks about right. And then what I want to do is I want to drop my altitude a little bit. I want to go down to about, oh, 40 meters. Something like that. All right, now that I have that, I will make sure my focus is set. I'll click Apply. And now, I'm gonna hide this little thing right here. If I need to, I can bring it out and I can tell it when to start going. This little slidey thing here tells me when to make it go. So I'm sliding it to the right, telling it to go 29 kilometers an hour. I can slow that down a little bit. But the drone is just going to automatically track around this boat. So I'm just going to let it go, just like that, and I have this nice, creamy, smooth, perfect video of my point of interest. Well, there you have it. Three intelligent flight modes that I think every single drone pilot should know about. Now, there's a lot more to this drone and to DJI uh, intelligent flight modes that we want to talk about in the future, specifically the tracking modes where you can have this drone follow different things in different ways. We don't have time for that in this video, but subscribe because these videos are coming in series and I don't want you to miss a single thing. Also, make sure you check me out on Instagram because I'm posting all kinds of behind the scenes footage and stills and putting these uh, tips into practical everyday use so you can see how I'm using these things in real life. And you can see what didn't make it into this video, which was a bunch of hawks trying to take down my drone. So make sure you check me out on Instagram. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next week.